Here we are at my heater, as you can see. Now, this is a wall heater. A lot of houses have them. My house is an old house. So, I'm going to show you basically how this is. Here we go. Okay. So, I open this down here. I'm going to show you how a pilot typically works. Okay. So, you walk in here, you open this up, and you'll see basically the same type of thing. There's a pilot, it's upside down, but that's how, that's what a pilot is. There's gas, which is right down there. This is the valve, remember I was telling you about? It's in line, it's in line of the pipe. That means gas is on. And to determine if the gas is going, you could kind of see inside, you could see there's a flame. There's a blue flame, you could see it there, okay? So now, what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna show you what to do to turn this off. So gas right here, right? So first I'm gonna turn this off right here. So this guy goes like this, this is off. Boom, off. Now my flame is off, okay? Gas is still on, so what I'm gonna do is turn the gas off. Now gas is off. So as you could see, the gas, see that little valve, is now perpendicular to the pipe. That means gas is off, the pilot says off, and that's what you want to do in case there's a gas leak in your house. You want to turn off the gas just like so. Now all the places that have gas would be, like I said, it'd be your water heater, you do the same thing. Your oven, same thing behind the oven, so you could pull it out. Or the best thing to do, instead of doing everyone individually, you could go outside on the side of your house and I'll show you what to do next. First, let's get this turned back on so I could kind of show you how this works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this camera just like so as I turn this on. So bear with me here as I, as I turn this back on, okay? so. Now, gas, I'm gonna turn back on. So I turn the gas back on. Now it's perpendicular, right? The pilot, this is tricky. You wanna keep your eye, basically, uh, eventually, when you turn the pilot back on, you wanna reignite it. And there's an igniter. The igniter is going to be, um, let's see, right. So as I turn this guy on, there's a little, little button. So I'm gonna turn this guy on like this. This is the pilot. Just like that, and the button is this. So I just, like that. That's to prime, it's to prime it, okay? It's to prime it. So what I'm gonna do is do this, and then I prime it, and with my lighter, I ignite the flame, okay? So now, I just primed it, I ignited it up here, and now there's fuel going back to the heater. So I turn it all the way, I come out and I turn it to the on position, and now the heater is officially on. That's how you turn on a pilot. So let me go back and I'll show you now. The flame is back. If you can see up there, there's the flame. So there's the is now on the on position. You don't leave it in the pilot position, you turn on the on position. And that's how you turn on a heater or water heater in the household. Okay, now let me show you how to turn off the gas outside. Okay, so now this is working fine. Great, I can close this back up. We're gonna go outside and I'm gonna show you the right way to turn off the gas. In case there's a gas leak in the house, in case the city says turn off your gas, in case your gas just randomly goes out. Okay, so follow me. Okay, come follow me and I'll show you how to shut off the gas that comes from the city to your house. Once you shut off your gas to your house, there is no need to actually 
worry about any uh, future gas leaks within the house because the gas is going to be shut off from the outside. Now, if you shut it off from the outside, you're fine. Open windows, ventilate any other gas inside the house. Make sure you know you uh, you air out the house. Have carbon monoxide detectors. In a future video, I'll go over that and what to do, where to place them, and whatnot. But follow me. I'm going to get my handy wrench, my channel pliers here, okay, and basically a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, okay, and uh, I'm going to show you where gas would be shut off at a house. Now, every house is a little different. Apartments the same way, hotels the same way. There's always going to be gas from the city to your house or apartment. Now, it comes from the street, a little gas pipe, gas main, and it goes down. And on my house, it happens to be, if you're facing my house, the left-hand side. So as you can see, it's right there. This is probably the easiest access point. So if you're going to try to reach this, you would have to actually dig out a little area here so you have enough room to actually use your channel pliers. And your channel pliers are going to be the things that are going to basically turn off that valve. See that valve? That valve there is in the on position because it's going straight up and down in line with the pipe. So that pipe is coming from the city underneath the ground here all the way to the city and this is how you shut it off. So once you get your channel pliers you just turn it and you turn it completely perpendicular 90 degrees and that pipe like your water heater, like your furnace, right? That's how you shut off your gas to your house. Now, similar valves to those that work the same way is your water. So, we'll go over how to shut off water in another future video. But thanks for joining me today with Fire Safety Tips with Firefighter Cafferata. I appreciate it. Oh. Oh. Please like my videos, join my channel, and uh, continue watching, and I'll show you more future videos that are going to help you for fire safety tips around the house. Thanks a lot. Have a wonderful day.